What's up, Cola Gang? I'm back with another video. And no, this is not a story time, but there will be a story time coming shortly. As I told y'all, I'm trying to get my editing shit together. I'm a little bit lazy on that, and I can't be like that, but I'm being honest. And oh god, my little fucking fun. I thought I was doing something with this fucking fun. Mm. She don't want to cooperate, but okay. Mm. Mm. It's, that's good enough, because cause, y'all ain't here, y'all ain't here for the bun, y'all here for me. You understand? So, boom. I told everyone I'm doing a segment, What Would Cola Do? It's an advice segment, it's totally anonymous. And I'm happy to present to y'all my first submission. And I need to put this shit on, on airplane mode, because I'm recording off my phone and little messages and stuff be coming down. This shit is throwing me off, because I'm looking up there and y'all probably like, what the fuck? Like, what is she looking at? But, okay, y'all. Here we go. I'm going to read this for y'all to remember. It's completely anonymous. Don't try to, like, rack your fucking brain to figure it out. But not trying to be funny. Like, whoever sent me this, I'm feeling like this is somebody that knows me in my life. Or just side or something like that. Because this, this advice question hits. Hits too close to fucking home in certain aspects. Not totally, but... You know, you know, it's a little, it's a little, you know. Mm. So let me, let me get into my Gmail real quick. Alright, boom. Hey, y'all ready? Wait for this to load up because I got this, this old ass tablet because I was like, listen, I'm using the phone. I ain't feel like getting on my computer, so I'm glad I kept this bullshit ass tablet. But anyway. Alright, here we go. Hi, Cola. How are you? Well, I'm already starting to fucked up like I can't fucking read. Let me, let me, let me proofread this real quick because maybe this person just don't know how to write. Okay. Hi, Cola. How are you? Well, here it goes. I have a boyfriend who I've been with for five years. He went to jail and I have been holding him down for three years. One day I went to visit him and bumped into this girl I seen in his phone. See what I'm talking about? Like until I met my husband, like this this was like the story. This was this was my fucking story. That's why I was like I, I was like fuck niggas for a long time. Like like just go to jail and rot. Like I just wasn't like feeling that fucking shit, y'all. Okay. I got some chicken in my teeth, wait. Alright. Mm. Okay. He denied her visit and took mine. I asked him why was she coming to see him. He said he she sneaks things in for him. Don't they all? I understand I understand he needs things and I'm not going to bring it. Should I leave or accept it because it's survival? That's a, that's, this is a very, very good fucking question. And I'm glad my first question that I got was, was something that I kind of experienced. And I say kind of, because like, um, nah, I experienced it. Let me stop shitting you motherfuckers and trying to be cool to cool for school. Like, yo, I went through this fucking shit when I was like, like, like in my early fucking twenties. Like, you understand? So like, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Let me not lie to y'all. I can't start off like that. But anyway. Me personally. I wouldn't be fucking with it. Because listen. There's more going on. Or there was more going on. For anybody. Any female. Right. To risk their fucking freedom. Right. Because see this is the thing. When you bring. And it's called contraband. When you talk about bringing stuff in when you bring contraband to jail right you bring in contraband is things that do not fucking belong there anything that they cannot buy themselves does not fucking belong there you can be sneaking them a pack of chewing fucking gum and depending on how the ceos feel about it you're gonna have some you're gonna have some issues whether you're gonna be banned from the jail or you know you could have some legal ramifications that take place now I would say fuck that nigga because uh, listen and this is just this is me and this is real shit because
because they were fucking. And, you know, I don't, you know, want to come at you like that because you probably thought it was going to be like a little flowers and candy type shit. Like, oh, you know, just hold him down. No, 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 no. If you'd have asked me this question probably like 15 years ago, maybe, I would say some dumb shit like that because I was stupid. Like, you're the stealing. <laughs> I was dumb as fuck. So I would say that, but the, the smart and mature woman that I have glowed up to be, Fuck his ass. Fuck that nigga. But see, before you say fuck him, you give him one last visit. But you make sure you come near like you you deck the fuck out. Look the best you've ever fucking looked in life. Like you understand? Like act like this shit is a fucking interview for some from a fashion magazine or some shit. Fuck his head up. Make the visit nice. You know? Fake it. Leave and then say fuck his ass. When he calls you, dub his call. And see, I'm just saying dub it because I don't know what level of gangster you're fucking with. Like, you understand? But you know your fucking level of fucking gangster. You understand? And I shouldn't even say your level of gangster. You know your level of genius. If you're not that G, don't get, get over the top cute with it. Like, you understand? Just disappear. You feel me? Change phone numbers, do all that. But see, if you petty like me... Because I'm part of the petty gang. You understand? <laughs> if you petty as fuck, you pick the caller. Because see, this is the thing. They got to pay, you know, for their little phone calls and stuff. And you ring that, that shit the fuck out. I don't know how much it is now or whatever. So I think it's like a dollar a minute. It's, a, it's some shit like that. You understand? Like, pick up, fuck you, hang up. He's going to call back. Yo, what's the, uh, 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 fuck you, hang up. And be done. Because there's no way in the world, this is not a childhood friend, this is not none of that. Or if it is a childhood friend, it's a childhood friend that he turned into fucking. Period. It's too too many emotions tied with them for this person to feel like they would fuck their life up just so that they can be happy in fucking jail. So that you may have been the side bitch and don't even fucking know it. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all probably were sister wives the whole time. He must, he must be dismissed. You must dismiss him. You're free. There's a lot of free people. Let me stop using the word nigga because I, I said I'm trying to work on how I talk. You understand? <laughs> like, I'm trying to work on that. There's free men with good jobs doing good shit that's not going to need their little side bitch, main bitch, whatever bitch this bitch was. To be bumping into you on no motherfucking visits because they're going to be free. Now, they don't get it fucked up because free motherfuckers is just as fucked up. But see, I'm not going to waste my time and energy going to jail to visit someone that doesn't have enough respect for me. To at least while you in jail, not have me intermingling with bitches. Because let me tell you, when you bumped into her on that visit, you was talked about. You don't know them people that's waiting or them people that's on the visit with their significant other or their family member or whatever. But, girl, you was talked about the whole time. Everybody on that waiting floor was talking about your ass. You was the topic of discussion. They was waiting for the shit to go down. You understand? And then when you come back, right, if you if you stupid and you come back, them same motherfuckers that was on that visit, that was talking shit, they're going to smile your face and talk some more shit and talk about how stupid you are. They're going to talk about how stupid. It's just like when I was younger, like, I remember I went, right, and I had I had brought some weed to my ex, <laughs> uh, ex-boyfriend, right? I was dumb young. I was dumb young. I was like 18 years old. I was stupid as fuck. You understand? And by the grace of God, like, I didn't go to jail. Because I was on my way to the reserve. So the captain felt some fucking pity for my little stupid ass. But they took his ass off the visiting floor. And I'm sitting there. Everybody's like this. Yo, she's stupid. Yo, she's stupid. Oh, my God. Mind you, they probably passed half of Columbia to whoever the fuck they were sitting with. But, you know, I got caught. So I'm the, 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 the spotlight is on me. You understand? So... The captain took me, right, in this room. Like, they was first trying to scare me because the way it happened was, like, technically speaking, 
because it's like i'll be speaking lawyerese and shit to motherfuckers or whatever like i got a lawyer brand i just was like i didn't pass him nothing you understand because technically i didn't he went and took it you know whatever like you understand from where i had it but i didn't pass him nothing but you know the the captain was like listen you know, he tried to scare me with the female jail shit, talking about how females is getting raped with brooms and all type of stuff. And I was like, listen, I ain't here. I said, listen, sir, I'm going to, to the reserves next week. And this is going to fuck my whole shit up. You understand? So he was like, listen, I think it's commendable that you're going to go to serve our country. So I don't want to mess you up, young lady. But this young man does not give a fuck about you. To have you risk your freedom... For some marijuana or whatever the fuck it was that you gave him. So please just go. I don't ever want to see your face back in this facility again. But remember, this was stupid, Cola. So I said, okay, you will never see me again. Thank you so much, Captain. And he was cool. I forgot what his name was. He was like one of them Harley Davidson white niggas or whatever. He was cool as fuck. But <laughs> I made my ex-boyfriend fuck somebody up so they could just move him out the building so that I could go and see his ass but the end all be all like you understand this is why i say i feel like somebody that knew me wrote this shit another time i came this was like maybe a year like a year or two later i bumped into some bitch on the visit and but the thing was the co's for some reason because like this was Rikers, so the co's was mad corrupt on fucking Rikers and stuff they knew what the fuck was going on but some of them just didn't give a fuck so like, they was all cool with me. Because it's like, I wasn't cursing them out. I would wait till my visit was called. Like, you know, I was cool as fuck. Like, I was like one of them, but not really. Like, you understand? So, it was this nasty little bummy looking bitch. Or whatever. And, you know, this is like when I first had turned, like, around. Like, you know, turned blood. So, it's like, when you young and you doing that, it's like, you just so excited. You know, when you see somebody else, you know, that's, that's banging like you. So, you know, you just be talking to motherfuckers. So I'm sitting there talking to this, this raggedy chick, like, you understand? So then, you know, we having general conversation. And then, of course, you know you're going to ask, like, who you here to see? <sighs> I shouldn't have asked that shit. When she said who she was here to see, and I don't think this person had a story time in the previous one. So I don't think this person has a name. So let me give this person a name. We're going to call him David. That's, yeah, that's what we're going to call him. Because this, this... This ex wasn't, this ex doesn't have a story time. So he doesn't have a story time name for the ones that's familiar with the story time. But, um, she said, I'm here to see David. So when she said that, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to psych myself out. So it's like, maybe they, you know, it's, they got the same first name. So I'm like, okay, um, David who? Then when she said the last name, I said, What? Okay, so I got up, right? <laughs> she don't even know what the fuck is going on at this point. Like, you understand? So I get up and I go to the CO booth. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? So they're like, yo, what's the matter? Because, you know, I'm when I used to come there, I was all flowers and candy. You understand? I was cool. I was chill. I was a vibe. Like, you understand? <laughs> so they didn't even know I could curse. Like, you understand? So they was like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, who's, who's you know, and I pointed over to a homegirl or whatever and like, how long she been coming here to see him so then when they said seeing who it was because some of these not trying to be funny there are such things as mules some some there be girls that just be coming seeing everybody you understand but i still feel like at some point either they, the girl likes the nigga something happens i don't trust it i don't care and it's like the ceo they just trying to keep their cool so they could have just been telling me that because they liked me and thought i was cool like you get what i'm saying they didn't want to hurt my little fucking feelings because i wasn't here for that bullshit or whatever but they was like oh she come see everybody. She be she be bringing them the bag. I was like, I said, all right. I said, all right, cool. Cool. He denied her visit. Now, he was in this thing called the box. This is where they put the, when people act up. Like, you understand? When you in there beating people up, you're just doing the, the most. You're going in isolation, basically. But the visit is like in this big-ass cage, right? And then the cage is a bunch of little cages inside one big ass fucking cage it's real animalistic and fucked up but they used to keep the locker keys on this big ass piece of plexiglass so that you wouldn't lose it you understand you couldn't fake pass it so they could i don't know make a fake key or whatever they they would do with it i don't know but they 
because they were so cool with me, I think they wanted to see a shit show. The way they put me in the cell, because they put you in first, and then they bring the person down, and they still got their cuffs on, and then you put them in there, and then they put their little, they arms out, and then they take the cuffs off when the shit is locked, because it's locked. They're supposed to sit me with my back facing to the thing, and then let them in. But this time, they let me sit to face when it comes in. So, you know, I'm like this. So he, I think he knew what it was, you know, uh, well, no, he knew. So then he's like, what's the matter? I was like, I'll tell you when you get in here. So then he was so scared, y'all. He's like, no, don't put me in there with her yet. What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't want to go in there well. So, you know, the CEO, you, they, they're not trying to hear that bullshit or whatever and stuff. So they're like, nah, you going in there or whatever, homie. So we went in and he went in there, right? I slapped the shit out of this nigga. <laughs> With the plexiglass, see, I was like, oh, oh, we having people come up here to visit you and shit. That's, that's what we doing. Like, I'm wasting my little good Saturday for this shit. Really? That's what we doing in these streets? All right, cool. I'm free, stupid. I'm free. So guess what? I'm gonna go do my little free shit. And that was that. You understand? So my advice... Is fuck that nigga, live your life, and that's that. So thank you. This was my first episode of What Would Cola Do? So G uh Gmail. Hit my Gmail at what would cola do at gmail.com. It's totally anonymous. You see, I didn't say whose name, I didn't say shit. Like you understand? Ain't nobody gonna know who. The fuck you are. You understand? Because I wouldn't want nobody to know if I'm sitting here divulging my soul, you know, to the world. Like, you understand? But that's my advice. Like, you understand? That's the best advice I can give you. And that's all I can do. Or whatever. But follow me on Instagram at Cola James. What else? Hit up my website for custom fly shit like these glasses. Custom glassware. Just custom fucking everything. I'm going to customize your life www.customsbycola.com Follow Cola James Customs on Instagram too. So it's, it's two Instagram pages. Um, is there anything else to follow? No, that's not. That's about it. Hit the likes. Hit the shares. And turn that red button gray. Yes. You will not regret it. But I'm out. Yeah, I tried to get a little cute for y'all too, but you know, my bun wasn't working, but it kind of is it's giving me something over here. It kind of turned into something. It's kind of like a little, I dream a genius, so I'm okay with it. You know, it didn't totally go out of fucking whack. But I love y'all. Peace, Cola Gang.